Good evening everybody and welcome to our VCAL Information Evening. The Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning is a magnificent program and we are delighted to be offering VCAL to our students in years 11 and 12. And it provides an opportunity for students who have a strong interest in doing practical things. Tonight we're going to be looking at VCAL expectations, uh, VCAL assessments, uh, the evidence of achievement and VCAL qualifications, pathways to follow, uh, strands and basic information and terminology. I'm now going to hand over to Mrs Katerina Crichton who will take you through these initial stages. The Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning, VCAL, is an alternative pathway for students in years 10, 11 and 12. VCAL aims to provide skills, knowledge and attributes that enable young people to make informed choices about pathways for work and further education. VCAL caters for a range of students with different abilities and interests. The levels reflect the progression in knowledge, skills and attribute relating to each strand. VCAL is accredited and awarded at three levels. You've got foundation level, that provides a high level of teacher support for the student. Then intermediate level, some teacher support with the expectation that the student can also demonstrate the ability to participate in some independent learning. And then finally senior level, the students work as independent self-directed learners. Attendance, full attendance is expected and students are required to attend all timetabled classes. Failure to attend 90% of lessons, as required by VICA, may result in an unsatisfactory result. Students are required to be at school every day of the week unless attending an external provider or for a VCAL vet placement. Now work and assessment tasks. It's just like VCE. Work is to be completed and submitted by required dates and times. Work is to be acknowledged as their own work and work must meet the requirements of each level of difficulty. Students are expected to catch up on missing work caused by absences and illnesses. To meet all the assessment requirements, students are all required to complete tasks in their own time for homework to meet the required outcomes. Vet courses and work placements. Students attend regularly as required, students to inform partnering organisation of their absence should they become ill. And if students do not have the external commitments, there is compulsory attendance in school. Uniform. While on campus, all students adhere to the uniform requirements. When at work placements or with other providers, all PPE requirements and uniform requirements are to be met. Assessments are an important part of the VCAL program. It's to determine where the student's achievements are and, their learning out and whether their learning outcomes have been achieved. Evidence of achievement is collected in a variety of ways. It can be, but it's not limited to things like direct observation, written work, research, planning documentation, oral presentations, production of goods, role plays, folios, discussions, maybe debates. It can also involve things like digital presentations and project implementation. To be awarded an, a VCAL qualification, students need to successfully complete a program with a minimum of 10 units of work. A credit is gained from successfully completing one unit of study. That unit of study may include one VCAL unit, a VCE unit, which some students do choose to do, or 90 hours of completed VET module um, unit of competency. VCAL is a program designed around the student learning needs and interests. It is possible for students to participate and satisfactorily complete VCE subjects as credits for their VCAL qualification. 
VCE VCAL students are currently undertaking subjects such as general maths, music, art and outdoor recreation. One VCE unit equals one VCAL unit. VCAL and VET pathways include careers that usually need a certificate too, such as a traineeship or an apprenticeship. After completing your qualification, you may choose to do further training or go to university. Careers that usually require a diploma or an advanced diploma. After completing your qualifications, you may choose to go to university. Your pathways after school are legitimate pathways for lifelong learning and they include getting a job, doing more training, maybe getting a job and doing more training, which then enables you to proceed to university. The VCAL program has a range of strands from which students need to choose and complete units. These strands include literacy, numeracy, industry specific skills, or an accredited VET program, work related skills, and personal development skills. VCAL literacy is different from English, which is studied in VCE. The main difference is that students are learning to be literate in practical and real life terms. Students focus on the development of practical skills through active participation in experiences and applied use of their knowledge. Literacy in VCAL is broken down into two parts, reading and writing and oracy. Over the course of the year, students have to work at reaching competency in 12 outcomes. In reading and writing, there are eight outcomes that students must reach competency in. Four are for reading and four are for writing. They cover areas such as self-expression, practical purposes, knowledge and public debate. In reading and writing, the purpose is to enable students to develop the knowledge, skills and attributes to read and write a range of texts on everyday subject matters that include some unfamiliar aspects or material. Once they have identified the audience and purpose of the text, students use the writing process to produce text that link several ideas or pieces of information. In reading, students identify how and if the writer has achieved his or her purpose and express an opinion on that text, taking into account its effectiveness. At the end of the unit, students will be able to read, comprehend and write a range of text within a variety of contexts. In the oracy component of literacy, students must reach competency in four outcomes. These again are very similar to the reading and writing outcomes. They need to cover self-expression, knowledge, practical purposes and oracy for exploring issues and problem solving. By the end of this unit, students will be able to use and respond to spoken language, including some unfamiliar material within a variety of contexts. So VCAL numeracy is basically practical maths, so you're looking at how to understand it and how to apply it to your everyday life. So we look at um, practical maths from all different perspectives such as financial maths um, and measurement and time and problem solving and all that sort of thing. So it's really about making maths practical and just teaching what students need for their everyday lives. Um, it also involves problem solving and using software tools and devices so that they can even go into further study in maths or maths related fields if they would like to. As we have said earlier, numeracy, like the other strands, is divided into three different levels. With foundation, it's slightly different to senior and intermediate. It's actually only one unit and it's split up into five outcomes. So outcome one, you look at numerical skills and processes. Outcome two is financial literacy. Um, outcome three is all about planning and organising. Outcome four has to do with measurement, representation and design. And outcome five, which is the extra one, is about preparing for work. Intermediate and senior is actually split into two units. Uh, the first unit is very similar to 
um, the outcomes in foundation. So you've got outcomes one, two, three, and four, like we mentioned before, but it just steps up the level of difficulty and um, is a bit more challenging with the students, but better prepares them for life. Outcome, so that's for unit one. Unit two involves completing a numeracy-based project. Um, not everybody completes unit two. It's not um, necessary to actually have unit two done in order to um, achieve intermediate or senior numeracy, but it can help count toward the total number of units that you need. So that's an overview of numeracy. Um, some of the projects that we've done in the last couple of years involving numeracy have been building a concrete footpath at the school. We've also made Play-Doh for the Year 2 class so they can use it to learn about shapes. Um, we have made face masks and there's lots of other projects. We do lots of little ones, some bigger ones and make it really practical for the students and relevant to their everyday lives. Okay, so the structure of PDS is that there are three strands to it. There is foundation, intermediate, senior. And at each of these, there are two different units. Unit one is about focusing on self and learning about self with five learning outcomes. Unit two is focusing on the community with uh, five learning outcomes for each. So the practical application of these is it's all about learning to plan, organise, do and review. And at each stage, reviewing is built in and this is a really important life skill. So to be considered to be satisfactory and get satisfactory completion of this and to be credited with a PDS unit, the student must demonstrate achievement in all learning outcomes in the unit. And that means it's all got to be considered to be competent. So wherever possible, all outcomes are completed in one activity they will learn highly valuable organisational life skills. Some of the activities that we've completed, the um, junior students, the foundation students have uh, read, learned how to expressively read stories to junior students in, in the school here. Uh, the foundation students have planned and organised a vegetable garden for school. Uh, intermediate senior students, have, they've planned and they have created a podcast. Um, and in a normal year, we would have had a VCAL camp, they've organised a breakfast club, uh, students organised a fundraiser for a clothing op shop day, there's shelving for the VCAL room, garden seating for the school, an inspirational video of the VCAL project. These are just some of the activities that students have very capably taken on themselves. We just haven't been able to complete them yet. Work related skills. The purpose of the VCAL work-related skills strand is to develop student skills, knowledge and attributes valued within community and work environments as a preparation for employment. So the development of employability skills within this strand provides students with the capacity to explore, consider and choose from a range of pathways. Knowledge and understanding <coughs> of occupational health and safety is integral to student preparation for a variety of community and work environments. So there are two units for each level at Foundation, Intermediate and Senior. Usually Unit 1 at each VCAL level is designed to develop knowledge and understanding at OH, of OHS, as well as a range of work environments and pathways. So this unit has five learning outcomes. And then you've got Unit 2 at each VCAL level is designed to develop knowledge, skills and attributes with a particular focus on employability skills and their application in specific industry and workplace settings. So this unit has six learning outcomes. A few excursions that VCAL students will be attending in order to meet outcomes will be the Clean Up Australia Day event, volunteering at various not-for-profit organisations like the Brotherhood of St Lawrence, Adra, food banks, salvos, road to zero program, exhibition in the city, we've got a city search adventure day to Australia Formula One Grand Prix, the Acura Motorsports and many more. Here at Gilson we also offer biblical studies in the VCAL program. The purpose of biblical studies is to understand the purpose and meaning in this world through the lens of a Christian worldview. Students are able to grow 
not only academically, but spiritually and mentally as well. Students are able to apply the skills and knowledge they've learnt in the other subjects to a holistic framework for their own lives. In biblical studies, students learn about origins, meaning, morality and destiny through the Christian worldview. Biblical studies is a place where students are able to share their lives in a safe environment where non-judgmental interactions are promoted. Well, thank you very much for joining us for this uh, VCAL information session. We hope this has been helpful to you. And at Gilson College, we want to wish you all the very best as you choose your career pathway, that it will lead to fulfillment and um, reward. Mm -hmm.